Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick um, a quick uh, project share um, of a journal that I am going to be creating um, as well as a folio project that I want to show you. But I wanted to show you that somebody asked about uh, what images I was going to use for my granddaughter's strawberry themed journal. She is turning 12 and so I'm making her a strawberry themed journal. I got the kit from my porch prints. If you haven't checked them out, they have phenomenal kits. I mean, out of this world. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So this is some of the lace I'll be using. I've got this in pink and red. Got that from Hobby Lobby. This is the um, the fabric I chose. Isn't that so sweet? And then we've got the green. It matches exactly. And then the, the journal is going to be called Strawberry Love because she loves strawberries. And the pages are going to be five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The cover will be five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then uh, it will have a two inch spine. It will have two signatures with eight pages each. So um, this is my chipboard cover. I like to make my journals out of chipboard. Um, totally just my preference. And then I just wanted to show you what some of the ephemera looks like. Just some gorgeous, gorgeous bits. So um, again, beautiful, beautiful um, art, artwork, digitals. I mean, these are just gorgeous. So I probably will not use all of this because it is a lot. But this is all vintage stuff, which I think is just amazing. And then we've got these tickets, which I think are so sweet. Um, so I just wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek. We've got some words. So we've got patch and some other strawberry-related uh, words. And let's see if we've got something else. This is a, um, a, a postcard. And what's this? Uh, another. This is a little thing you can make a book out of. Everything has been backed with coffee-dyed paper. We've got small tags another um, a journal card kind of thing. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek. Somebody had asked about what paper I was going to be using for her journal, so that is it. I'm just gonna set that out of my way. But uh, today's project, I watched a video over on, it's an accordion style folder, and it was by Nora, um, and then her, um, the only part of her, um, second part of her name is W asterisk 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 E, um, but I will link her and I will also put her channel in the uh, description, not in the description box, in the title of the video so you guys can check her out. I always like to give full credit um, to where I saw a project. So we're going to be making this, this right here. So it, it you're going to need two file folders and I finally got my folds correct mostly. This one is a little off. It is hard to get it lined up because because file folders are hard to fold because they're very thick. But basically it opens up, this is what it looks like before you start folding. So this is your file folder. You fold it to the height that you want it to be. And then you fold this side in so that this straight edge is in line with the, um, the first. Um, that's why we're off too. We're off there on that, that fold. And um, you wanna make sure, in this case, you wanna make sure that your bottom is very straight because you can't um, you can't cut the bottom off if something is is off because that's where your pockets are going to be. So I'm going to watch that really careful when I do the the one the sample for today. And then you fold this one in so that it meets this one. I did kind of fuss with it. Like you can see that it's not it doesn't line up exactly. So I think um, I'm going to back it up just a slight bit when I do the one for you guys. Um, and I'm again, I'm going to make sure that everything is really lined up as best I can. Um, when I do it, I, I don't like this. I don't like this look because my file folders, the, um, the tab is in the middle and I don't like that. So I'm going to probably cut this off um, and just make that a straight edge. So, but I'm going to show you how to do that. But I do really, really, really strongly encourage you to head over to this channel, um, Nora, uh, W asterisk, 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 asterisk E and check her out. She's got, um, she's, it looks like she's a new channel, um, doesn't have a lot of um, subscribers or anything, so I definitely want to give her um, a pump up and send people her way. So I printed, um, the, the, these are the kit pages that are the solid images, so um, they're great for covers and such things like that. So I cut, I covered these into, I cut, oh my goodness, start over. 
printed these on 20 pound paper because I don't want to bulk up this file folder any more than I already have um, because I mean file folders are just they're a thick material so these are dedicated to that and then these are the these are them on um, the 65 pound paper they're the same papers these are the ones I actually um, pulled for her journal so um, it's got these pages that are already designed to be folded and just gorgeous gorgeous images I love this 1922 and so yeah and then she's got her striped pages and then I love this image and this is my favorite image right here isn't that beautiful cute 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 she's gonna love it and then um, and then we've got this one and then this is um, from another part of the kit I'm gonna use it um, and use it as a page and fold it over so I just wanted to show you those are the actual digital pages for her signatures it's gonna be a two signature journal so I'm gonna set that aside as well we don't need that right now but I do want to get it out of my way because I'm going to probably need to use my cutter. So pardon my arms in the way. So I'm going to move slow here because I want to make sure that we get straight, straight folds. So I'm going to set that one aside. You need the second one because we're going to make some inserts on the inside, which I'll show you um, when we get there. So hold on. Okay, so you're going to open up your file folder like this, fully open. You're going to decide how tall you want your whole project to be. So I was thinking about going up to this mark um, where this um, curve is or like right below it. So I'm just going to get my pencil, I mean my uh, ruler out and see if I can um, get that straight. I think that's part of the problem with my folding is it's hard to get that that line straight so I'm gonna kind of I spy this and see how we're doing so that is oh that's hard to tell see we're already off no we're not we're good we're good I'm just using that as a starting point um, this line here so then I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up and you can again fold it up however high you want it to be it's gonna be determined on how tall you want your your journal, uh, your folio to be. So I'm going to measure this and see where we're at. It looks like about eight inches, which is probably perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and try to fold this. I am watching the middle section here because that's going to help me determine if I'm straight, if these score lines are lining up. So I'm going to give that a soft press to start with because when I get off to this corner, I want to make sure because my tab is where it's at that I get that that section in there really nice and lined up so I'm gonna go ahead and crease there and I'm gonna go ahead and press over and that looks to be good um, you know things are irregular so we can't really control that and I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good press on the way out there and I'm gonna use my bone folder give that a good crease like so Perfect. So let's see if we're that's nice and lined up. I might leave that now that I I think that part of the problem is is this when you fold this it, it pushes this over. So I'm almost feeling like I want to do something with that, but I'm not sure what. So because you don't want to glue anything or until you get your papers on, but um, let's just try this and see if we can make this work. So you're going to take this one and you're going to fold so that this straight edge is on your, like I, I did it like right on the score line on this side. And again, I'm making sure that my bottom is lined up more than my top because if my top is uneven, I can straighten it out by trimming it, but you can't do that with the bottom because those are the pockets. So I'm going to pull that over there a little bit and I'm going to crease that out and I'm going to crease that up. And that looks pretty darn straight. So let's give that a good, a good crease with the bone folder. Perfect. And when I start, when I do the papers, I'll pause when we get the folds all in and get the inserts in, and then I will pause the camera. I'm going to cut all my papers, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. I'm just going to put it, put the paper under it, trace around this, and then go from there and just cut each of the pieces that way. But I won't, um, I won't make you watch that painstaking process because believe me, 
it's painstaking. That's why I don't create with file folders very often. So we're going to fold this one over so that it not, you know, ignoring this part right here because that's the, the bottom fold. And I'm going to um, bring it in here, but I'm not going to have it exactly meet because I had trouble with things lining up correctly. So I'm going to go off a little bit here, making sure that it's even on the bottom. And I'm going to go press outward and then up and then down. It's really thick, you guys. It's really thick. That's a lot straighter than my other ones, though. So let's see how, how well we did. How well did we do? Okay, and then we're going to fold it this way. I'm pretty happy with that. I can't figure out why why I get this edge. You see that? We've got that edge. And I'm not sure. I've done this so many times and I cannot for the life of me figure it out. I wonder what would happen if we folded it on that other score line. Just for the, just for, oh that's the same score line, Kara Renee. Never mind. So I think it's just because of the bulk of the, um, the file, ma file folder material. Um, so, you know, we have to be okay with imperfection, I think. Um, I liked this better than my my fold here. So this is the prototype I did. So when we fold it, so see how we've got this extra bit of that pocket? That's the pocket fold there. We don't have that here. Oh, we have a little bit of it here. Why does it, it looks better to me, but anyway. So we're going to be okay with that imperfection that we've got a little hangover there. Um, it's it's straight. It's just It's just the way it is. So that is that. And I'm just going to crease this one again. I just want to make sure I get everything really, really pressed down. Again, the bulk on this is really, really heavy. Really heavy. There we go. The other thing a person could do is cut these this off and glue them on as pockets. And I'm almost inclined to do that. It would make everything easier because then I can put my own pockets in it. Because I feel like this is going to be really tight for things to go in too. What do you think? I wish you could tell me. If we cut that off, you know, you would re you could reattach it in pieces if you wanted to use the file folder or you could just put your own papers on there. And then it would still be it would still have the same functionality in that it would be this kind of accordion type of thing but since I did it since I I'm following her accordion uh, accordion folder thing I'm gonna keep it like this this time so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna I'm gonna bring my cutter over I need to move my keyboard I didn't think I would need all that space but I am gonna need it because I need to bring the cutter over um, in a moment I guess we have we, we need to measure first Karen Renee <laughs> so with your second file folder, you're going to go ahead and measure um, the height of it. Now our ruler, I don't know what we ended up exactly as measurement here. Let me just check. Oh, eight inches exactly. So that's perfect. So, um, but I'm still going to just use this as my guide um, and just mark my, my bottom here. And I'm going to cut this off. So I'm just going to bring the cutter over. This is the the big mama here. I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom part off. We're not going to be using, um, sorry, we're not going to be using um, this section. We're going to be using this section so I'm not concerned about my um, my tab there which you guys it's going to probably be hard for you to see since the this is so big but there we go. Cut that off. I might use that. And then we're also going to cut, you know what, you know what, hold on, give me a second. I wonder what would happen if we, if we just inserted this in here. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to experiment today. I'm going to show you how she did it. So what we're creating basically, guys, is another insert using the um, the factory score line or the, the extra score lines on this. And we're going to make an insert, a flippy flappy thing right here. So now we just need to determine how wide we want it to be. 
So I'm going to line it up to the first. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see this? Focus is terrible. So I'm going to line it up to this uh, first, this inside score line here. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to just set it there because I want to determine how wide I want this to be. I'm going to move it up a little bit just so I can see where my fold is over here for distance sake. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it about here. Now she did a, like a squiggly shape. We might do that on the other one on the other side. Um, we'll see, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this one at that line. That's not very far. Is that right? I guess that's right. It's fairly narrow, as you can see. It's almost like a like a traveler's notebook kind of um, kind of thing, what you know, width wise. So then, what's going to happen is this is going to get. Oh, you're going to cut off. Sorry, I've had a long day. I just came back from an art event and spent time with my sister and a bunch of other uh, huge things that are going on right now. So what you want to do is you don't want to cut that. You don't. You're going to use this side that has the score lines. So we're going to cut this side off. We don't need it. Um, I'll stick it in my drawer and use it for tags or something. Though it would be great for tags. So I'm going to just cut that off. And then we're going to go ahead and move my cutter for a moment. I'm going to bring this back over and we're going to go ahead and um, decide where we want to attach this. So I'm going to fold it. Um, let's see, I think I want it to go a little farther. So I'm going to fold on the second score line. I wish you guys could see that better. On, So I'm not going to fold it here. I'm going to fold it one up. So just so I get a little bit of a wider, I should have cut that differently. So you get to decide what you want to do though. Oh, that's the, the original. That's the one we didn't want. Goodness gracious. There we go. I'm a little all over the place, guys. So I hope that you'll forgive me. Lots of really, really great stuff happening though. So I think that's enough to glue. She actually folded it here and um, that just gave more of a, of a, um, what do you call this a hinge so then you can go like this and you can put this here and then you would butt it up to this edge right here um, but I'm not going to put it in yet well I am going to put it in because I want my papers to cover it so um, but I want to ink this all up first so we're just going to make it and then we'll glue it we're going to ink this up and then we'll glue it in and then we're going to um, in this video we're just going to do uh, we're just going to do the paper on the cover um, and that's just so that I have a, an enticing um, photo for my uh, for my thumbnail for the YouTube and then um, nope that's all never mind we're going to come back I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back with the papers. My apologies, guys. If that doesn't happen, then um, I guess you'll find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so, I am so out of it right now. Um, please, please forgive me, you guys. I'm going to see where we land. It. I sometimes think it's better to have a shorter video. So let me back up a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and just, um, we're going to glue these in. We're going to cut them, glue them in. Then we're going to put the paper on the front of this one. And then I'm going to end this video and I'll come up with part two where I will have all the papers pre-cut and we'll get them all on. We'll stick the ephemera in the pockets and such. So it'll be a, a two-parter. So I'm so sorry for um, the uh, waffling as my... Um, my UK friends say. So a lot of waffling. But um, so there we go. I um, I don't want to give too much away, so I'm going to try to keep quiet. So <laughs> there's uh, there's some news to come that I want to share with y'all, but not today. So again, really, really good things are happening in my world. And I'm finally feeling completely well. I didn't get the last sickness that went around, which was strep. My grandkids had strep. Oh, I forgot a step. Goodness gracious. We're going to turn this over. So you have to make a notch in this. I'm jabbering too much. You have to make a notch in this. I'm going to make a line where that pocket is. Even though I've got glue there, it's okay. Because if you put this on, 
it will it will affect your pocket if you don't cut a notch and that's going to make more sense here in a second so i'm going to grab my scissors which i'm going to get them sticky because there's glue on here but you're basically just going to cut a little bit of a v so um i'm just going to cut like that just up to that fold and then like that and then that's going to allow that not to affect the pocket because it's going to be able to go right in there so hopefully I have enough I better put more glue on there we go okay I just have to tell you more to come so my Sundays are of truth this Sunday if you guys well it by the time this video posts, it will have already happened. But I, um, I saw my mom after last night. After um, I haven't seen her since 1994, and I was really nervous and I was really, quite honestly, scared. And um, but it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was. Um, not at all like what I expected and I'm so glad that I did it and so that's what's on my mind like it was it was huge like huge it was huge preparing for it it was huge going and but it it was it was so perfect and I mean it doesn't mean that everything is solved or anything I haven't seen her in a long time there's a lot of history but um, but I'm really glad that I did it and it was really good for her too. So that's our insert. So it's just a flippy flappy. I shouldn't have folded that there. It's okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, we'll put some paper on it. And um, so that's gonna be, um, it's just gonna be a flippy flappy. We can put maybe some small pockets on it and I don't know what we'll do with that, but I will play around with that. So now we're gonna turn this over and we're gonna put one on the other side. So I think I wanna put that one here. And so, Typically, you would get another file folder. I mean, you want to, uh, you know, I don't know if this makes sense. I'm just going to grab another one that I had in my drawer that I have been playing around with this for a while. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure that that 8-inch mark there. I'm going to bring the cutter over again. <clears throat> so part of my energy level is just from so much going on so fast so much happening so fast and so it makes me it makes me um it makes me chatter a little bit more <laughs> so i hope that you guys are will stick around and just pay attention to the things that, ma that really matter but there we go so um, what she did is she she used the second file folder mainly because it already had pre-made score lines but we can control this ourselves so i'm going to go ahead and bring the scoreboard in as well and we're going to make a score mark obviously we don't need more than one score mark because we're just going to score in about let's see how how much that is that was a three quarters of an inch i think we can go like we did on the other one and do a half of an inch so I'm just going to put line this up. Hopefully you guys can see it a little bit. And get my little tool out here. And I'm going to go, actually let me go 5 8 of an inch. Got nothing to lose. So I'm just going to score that at 5 8 um, You just need a hinge. So you can determine how much of a hinge, how wide of a hinge you want. Um, we're just trying to create that, that fold there. And then um, we're going to glue that one on. So now we need to decide what we want to do with this one. I think on this one, I want to make it kind of, oh, if I make it fun, it's going to be hard to cover. Uh, oh, this is tough. I think, um, I think we'll come back to this because... I want to be able to, I want to make kind of a decorative edge here, but it's really, I'd rather do it after I get some paper on it rather than cut this and have to cut it twice, basically cut it, cut the folder and then cut the paper. So I'm going to leave this one. I mean, I'm going to cut it down, but I think I'm just going to cut it to, um, to like here. And then I'll show you in the next video um, how I do that. But here we go. 
you guys might maybe would have been better to go over to this this other gal's channel um, and skip over this one. Oh my goodness, I am all over the planet here. But that's all. It's we're just friends, right? It's okay. It is okay. So then this one is going to go probably um, probably here, but it's going to have a decorative. Uh, it's going to have a decorative like. Um, rounding of this kind of a wavy type of thing going on actually um, yeah I'm going to show you in the next video so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to ink this up I'm going to put a piece of paper on the front but our video is done for today and I'll come back in part two and we'll do all the decorating putting the papers on as well as putting stuff in the pockets we probably won't do all of the embellishing and all the decorating on camera because um, you don't need to see it all, but um, of course, if you would rather see it all, you can let me know and I can I can do that in the future. But for today, this is what we're going to do. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.